Good morning. This is Holly, Handcrafted Blessings here, um, on a snowy Tuesday morning, um, which is kind of crazy because I'm pretty sure in about 15 minutes is the uh, beginning of spring. So I learned this morning from a friend that spring starts at 11.15 a.m. Uh, don't know why that's the time, <laughs> but yeah, so it, partway through this video, we can say happy spring. But what's funny here in Minnesota, it's actually snowing. I think we're due for an inch or two this morning, so we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, it's funny, in preparing for these videos, I'm always ready to go by about 10.30, you know, when I post my little photo of what we're going to be doing. Um, and then somehow, right before 11, I'm like rushing around trying to get online and uh, be ready to say good morning to you guys. So I don't know how that works. Um, hi, Kathy. Hi, Reba. So um, I'm going to start with showing some happy mail that I got. Um, it's always a fun part of my day to get the mail and see what's in there. So I've got three cards today to show you. Um, and I've got my, uh, they're doing a spring, like, what's the word for it? Like a spring special today at this coffee shop. So it's a cream de menthe mocha. And so that's what I'm drinking today. And let me tell you, it is really, really good. So, hi, Connie. Um, I am currently in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. So that's where I'm at. I'm at a coffee shop here. Uh, let me see. I actually need to take this one out of the bag because it's going to be hard to see, I think. Except that I can't figure out how the bag opens. So maybe not. Not going to happen. Um, so this is the card. And for the life of me, I can't find the flap. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, we can do this. Because <laughs> there's kind of a glare if I don't take it out. Because I think that is just so pretty. Um, I love the sparkle. Oops, I forget that I'm backwards. So, I like the sparkle on these leaves. That is uh, glimmer paper. or no, Yeah, glimmer paper. It's kind of glittery, which is probably why it's in the bag. Because there's glitter all over the place. But I just think that's such a beautiful card. So, that one was made by Don Michaels from Stillwater, Minnesota. So, very nice there. So, if you're wondering why sometimes I get things backwards, it's because my video is actually recording backwards. So, uh, hi, Patty. Oh, Patty, I'm going to be in Spokane in May, so I'd love to meet up with you. Um, hey, Mom. Hey. Oh, thank you for sharing, Reba. All right. So, yeah, so I record these videos actually um, on a mirror setting. Um, so that way, when I show you words, they are right um, so you can read them. Otherwise, my words are always backwards, you know. Hi, Kathy and Kathy, a couple of you guys. Um, so, yeah, that's why sometimes I'm, like, pointing. I'm like, oh, wait, I got to remember it's opposite of what I think. <laughs> um, so here is a Bottles and Fizz um, card. Um, and what's cool about this is that the stamps and the thinlet for this are actually carrying over to the next catalog, which is really cool. Um, now, this this paper here is not, but maybe they'll give us a new paper in the next catalog. Who knows? Um, but this one is made by, there's no first name on the return address, so let's see what we got here. Um, Katie Palmer. So, whoops, and her papers are falling out all over. <laughs> So I think that's a really cute card. And then the last one, this was actually a first for me. Um, I have never received a St. Patrick's Day card before. So I thought this was really cute. It says, may the blessings of your life give you reason to rejoice. Um, and then on the inside, it says, happy, happy St. Patrick's Day. So I thought that was really cute. Um, and that's from my friend Priscilla. So very neat. It's a thank you card that she was sending me. So that was my uh, happy mail today. Let's see if I can adjust this here. Hi, Julie. I am having a good day so far. I didn't even mind that we woke up to snow this morning. Um, it's still pretty. And I think, you know, snow's easier to enjoy when you know it's not sticking around. <laughs> so that always works. So let me put these over here. All right. So I'm going to bring my cards here in front of me. And then we'll get our video put down. So we are going to be looking at this card right here. 
Now you're going to see some writing over here, and that's and I'm going to explain that in just a minute. But this is the uh, sample card that I'm going to be making today. So let me see if I can get my camera down here. Here we go. Um, so this is a happy birthday card. So you might remember about a month ago, um, I did a class using this picture perfect birthday um, paper, and I made a whole bunch of different cards. And you know when you do when you do card fronts, the the standard size, so like this pool party here, is a um, four by five and a quarter, and um, cut a lot of strips out like that. But what that means is when you have a six by six piece of paper, you end up with this two inch strip left over. And so these these stack of strips have just been sitting around, trying to um, waiting for me to finish them and figure out some sort of card. So what I thought I would do today is show an idea for using these two inch strips. Um, and this is my uh, cheat sheet card <laughs> because what this tells me is all of my different measurements here. Um, so in terms of the first card stock layer, second card stock, this white layer, my DSP, where I scored, um, and then my coordinating colors. And I think I've got a glare here because of the white paper, so sorry about that. Um, but I can post those if you're interested. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Linda. Hi, Brenda. Um, I can post those measurements if you're interested once I finish this video. So, um, so let me bring over here some pieces. So I'm going to work on two different cards kind of at the same time. So first what we have here are those DSP strips that I talked about. This paper is just so pretty. Um, so I picked the, the bows and the donuts this morning. You could always flip it over and use these design sides and I'll actually show you um, some examples of using the design sides. Uh, which would actually help with uh, making it into something other than a birthday card. Um, okay, Kathy, great. I will definitely put the measurements. When I post, after these videos, I always post pictures of uh, my cards, and um, I will add the measurements as well. So these are 2 inches by 6 inches, because it's just that leftover strip of paper. Um, and then what I've done is I have scored them at 1 inch. So we're going to fold that 1 inch flap over. And what I'm going to do is take both of those and we're going to put some tape on them. And then I'm going to take my white cardstock. And my white cardstock is measuring 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarters. So you'll see once I've scored my DSP at 1 inch and folded over, it's now 5 inches long. So it becomes the same length as your white piece of paper. All right, and so I'm just using that tape that I added, and it's going to be taped down on the back. So we have this cute little flap, okay? All right, I'm gonna set those aside for a moment, and we're gonna look at the stamping. So I'm using the Picture Perfect Birthday Set. Um, and this one is, I'm going to use, Today We Celebrate Wonderful, Brilliant, Fabulous You. Ooh, that's hard to read upside down. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to make myself laugh and choke at the same time. <laughs> um, and then I'm using Happiest of Birthdays to You. Okay? So my chosen color combination this morning is Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, and Bermuda Bay. So you'll find that these three colors are kind of in everything that I'm doing today. So I am going to use Bermuda Bay. Let's move these two stamps over. So I'm going to do this here. And we're going to first do Happiest of Birthdays to You. So we'll have that one stamped. And then I'm going to do Today We Celebrate Wonderful, Brilliant, Fabulous You, which is a great greeting for an oval because it's a bit longer. And so there we end up with our two little greetings here. I apologize about the lighting. I'm looking at my uh, camera next to me, and it looks like it's a little hard to, to see. So we're going to flip my... There we go. 
Um, all right, now we're going to take these two, and we're going to be adding dimensionals. Actually, I'm going to wait on that. Hold on, sorry. Let me do these in a different order. First, we're going to put the white down. So if I put dimensionals, it's going to make it uneven, and then I'm going to have a hard time getting it taped. So we're going to put the white onto the next cardstock layer. And this lemon lime cardstock layer measures at four by five and a quarter. So this would be like your standard card front size. And I just do quarter inch increments on everything. So that's four by five and a quarter. So we'll do that again. Since we're making two cards at the same time. I'll just put some more tape here. And I think I'm going to use these for my on-stage swap cards, since I have so many of these strips. just seems like a, a great way to use up this DSP. All right. So then my final layer is the largest one. So that is the same as a folded card. So we've got four and a quarter by five and a half. So basically just one quarter of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And that gives us that third layer that we're looking for. And then we'll do the same thing for our bow card. Oh, Connie, great question. When do I go to California? I am leaving uh, early May. I think it's around May 7th or 8th um, to go to California. So I'm taking this huge road trip, for those of you who don't know. Um, driving from Minnesota out to California, San Francisco, and then I'm going to go up through, I thought, on my way home. <laughs> we'll put that in big air quotes. Um, on my way home, I'm going to go up through Portland, Spokane, Seattle, and then come back around home. So if you live in any of those areas, I would love to get together with you. So just let me know. All right. So we are going to be putting our... Um, stitched ovals on here and we're going to do that with dimensionals now I have many times put these on um, put my dimensionals on on the wrong side because you see because of the way it's going to hang over let me see here let's see if I can move my tape it's going to hang over this strip so of course you don't want dimensionals over here because then your card's not going to open appropriately so what I usually do is I set the oval down right where I want it, and then if you just flip it right towards you, then you know this same side is still where you want your dimensionals to sit. Um, all right, so let's see here. We're going to put that one on there, and then we'll take the backings off of these. So yeah, I think I'll be heading through like Utah and, oh, I don't know, Idaho, Wyoming, all sorts of states. And so there we have two super quick birthday cards. Um, now, these are the same color combinations, but of course you could switch it up. So on this one, we could have used a berry burst. Um, this is a peekaboo peach, I believe. So you could have used something like that. So you could always switch them up. Um, I tend to match the stitched oval. Hi, Karen. I tend to match the stitched oval to the the bottom base. Now, you don't have to. Of course, you could switch it up. Um, sometimes I do. So let me show you another sample. Um, so, oh, and it's upside down. So on this one, um, my bottom base is actually a berry burst color, but I didn't have a berry burst stitched square when I was grabbing all my supplies, so I just use a white stitch square um, but I kept with the berry burst ink and this is a great example this is the back of this um, I don't know if that's like confetti paper or something streamers um, but because this is just polka dots basically you really could use any sentiment you want you know it wouldn't have to be a birthday card um, oh Kathy I can't wait to see you it'll be so much fun um, so that's what's great about the back of these designs. So like here we have bows. It's, you know, kind of a birthday thing. But if you switch it over, you have these cute triangle design. And so you could use that side and make it into something that's not birthday. Um, here's another example of one of those designs. Let's see if I can pull this over here. 
Um, so here I've used the stripe side. So on the back here we have um, birthday balloons, which had the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Um, well, I don't know anybody who's turning 1, 2, or 3. <laughs> so um, I thought, well, I'll just flip it over and use the stripes. And once again, you wouldn't have to do a birthday sentiment. I mean, it's, it's striped paper, so you could do thank you. You could do thinking of you. You could, you know, um, anything like that. So... Um, Kathy, yes, I will definitely be coming to Utah. I need to talk to you about seeing if I can stay with you guys. Um, so K for those of you who don't know, Kathy is my aunt and my cousin who lives in Salt Lake City just had twins, twin boys, and I'm so excited to meet them. Um, so yes, going to Utah. Um, so here are, let me show my samples once again. So we got a couple of des um, pattern colors instead of like the birthday, really. And then I've got the donuts and the birthday bows. And then my sample here, this was just where I was writing all my notes. I'll eventually take off this white, um, put a new white card so I can actually use this one. But it makes for a great cheat sheet. <laughs> so I will put those. Yeah, I think you can see the measurements better now. I got that glare taken care of. So um, CS is cardstock. So the first layer is four and a quarter by five and a half. This pool party layer is the four by five and a quarter. And then my white is three and a quarter by five. So if you kind of see, it's always in quarter inch increments. We go from five and a half, five and a quarter to five. So that's really how it works. And then your two inch DSP strip. So I'll post those uh, with the pictures so that you guys have them. Um, but those are my um, birthday cards using strips. So I think I have about 60 strips um, that I had cut based on the other cards that I had already made. So I should have pretty quick about 60 on stage swap cards. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then finishing up some other swaps. And so, yeah, it's a busy day today um, here at the coffee shop. So I'm just going to hang out, make some more cards, and, you know, see if maybe somebody will join me. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. And let me know if you live anywhere between here and California, Washington, whatever. I'll come visit you. I'm looking forward to a great road trip. So thanks for tuning in. And until we meet again, don't forget to encourage each other and build each other up. Bye, guys.